What's up gamers, I'm Roulette. And I'm Sapuku from the Fragdolls and we're here for GameInvasion.net. We're here today in San Francisco, California for UB Days, which is Ubisoft's big debut of a bunch of games that are gonna be coming out this holiday season. We've got all of these developers here. We're gonna go talk to them and find out what's coming up. Follow us. I'm here with Jade Raymond. We're gonna talk about Assassin's Creed. It's been forever since we've heard stuff, so tell me what you guys have been working on lately. Yes, we have been keeping really quiet because we're very busy. Um, basically, we've been spending a lot of time building out the world. Uh, we talked a lot about it at last year's E3, that we have this huge replica of the Holy Land during the Third Crusades, and now we've actually been making it. So each city like is 15 times larger than what we showed at E3 last year. We have all of these um, we've based the cities on the historical documents. We have these huge, huge landmarks that are real historical landmarks that you would see if you went to visit Jerusalem today, the ones that are still there. And we've replicated them exactly accurately. So a lot of effort has gone into that whole artwork side of things. And then on the gameplay side, we've been working a lot on the cool fight moves the assassin gets to do, the fluidity of the controls details and the crowd reactions, every single reaction that you hear from the crowd, we have facial animations to go with it, and of course like really cool AI so that you have really good challenges when you're getting chased down, guards can chase you anywhere throughout the city, really cool bosses to kill like the main guys you have to assassinate, all have interesting moves, like that kind of thing. You'll get to see Richard the Lionheart in a couple of missions, a Saladin's army charging. Um, basically you'll experience at the very end of the game the big battle of Arsuf that happened between Richard the Lionheart and Saladin. So there's a, quite a few big historical moments that you'll get to live through. So tell us a little bit about Altair. What can you tell us about this main character right now? He's badass assassin. <laughs> I mean, he's like, he's really the promise, I think, of one of the coolest heroes you could play in the game because he's realistic. He doesn't have wings or like crazy gadgets or something. He's just incredibly agile. He totally owns the city. He can go anywhere he wants. And he just, the way he moves, there's something about it that's like incredibly charismatic. Sexy. It's pretty sexy. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can tell me the details of this, but in the trailer that we saw, after he assassinates the guy, he has this really tender moment, like this tender moment where he closes the guy's eyes. He's not an assassin who's, you know, paid to go assassinate or, you know, kills random people. Really, it's he's on a, a mission for one particular guy who's a bad guy who's causing, you know, the population to suffer and stuff, clearly, clearly taking out the bad guy, but he still has a respect for the dead. And so that's why um, we kind of refer to it as kill Love, lovingly. <laughs> See, um, he's sensitive too. Yes. More points in the sexy meter. <laughs> Such a girl about him, I can't help it. The other thing I'm really excited about this game is about the AI and all of the massive, like the crowds that are going to be in this game and how you're going to be interacting with them. Can you tell us? I know you guys are probably working on that a lot in the past year. So yeah. tell us about that a little well, bit. Well, actually, I think last year at E3, when, people, when I was talking about the crowd, I maybe said something like 60 people on screen. Since then, we've been working on optimizing the crowd. We now have 150 simultaneous separate AIs that Fun can be you. simulated. <laughs> so that, can, that means not only the crowd, but enemies. So we can make huge chaotic battles, really difficult fortresses filled with enemies um, that you have to get through to kill your target. Those are for like the fight-based missions. Um, and then of course the crowd, which really brings together kind of the new experience that we're trying to deliver, which is social stealth. Um, the crowd that reacts in an incredibly realistic way and becomes an obstacle and sometimes can help you too. Thank you very much for talking to us. Now remind us when approximately is this coming out? This is coming out in 2007. The exact date will be announced in a few weeks. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, we will definitely be holding our breath until then. Thank you very much.